Hey guys, and this is the official Galaxy S8 Plus specs cheat. It has been posted by a well-known leakster, the man, the legend, Evan Blast from EvLeaks, the same guy who showed us the real-life image of the Galaxy S8 for the first time. So, oh boy, let's read it out here. So first of all, the device is 4G LTE capable. Uh, we do have the Galaxy S8 Plus logo as well, uh, which is, of course, further, further confirmation. Like, it's 100% it's confirmed that this is the name of the bigger Galaxy S8. And display-wise, we have a 6.2-inch full rectangle display slash 6.1-inch rounded corners. And it's a Quad HD Plus Super AMOLED display. So confirm that resolution is indeed 1440p. It's not going to be 4K. And uh, we pretty much had the idea like about one month ago that it's going to be 1440p. So they have actually combined the flat screen and edge screen in a way that is more of rounded rectangle edge display. Like, I mean, it's a combination of both worlds. So if you look closely at this live Galaxy S8 image, you're definitely gonna notice that. And this is an answer to all those people who are thinking that it's gonna be like too big for, for the user. So it's actually gonna be almost, it's gonna feel almost the same as the Galaxy Note 7 size or the Galaxy S7 Edge size. So um, moving on, we have a 12 megapixel dual pixel camera on the back, which is of course the same as the Galaxy S7. They might have added some improvement to the sensor, but mostly it's gonna be the same as the S7 and it's still pretty awesome. Right now you can see some of the camera samples. Then we have an eight megapixel front camera. That's definitely an upgrade from the five megapixel of the Galaxy S7. We do have IP68 dust and water resistance there, which is nice. Iris scanner is also debuting on the Galaxy S8, which we first saw with the Note 7. And then it's secured by Samsung Knox, which will provide us features like secure folder, a full-on Knox protection with the software. And we got 64 gigs of internal memory with support for external micro SD card, uh, which is uh, sold separately. So this means that, of course, the default base Galaxy S8 will have 64 gigs of internal memory, no more 32 gigabyte. So we're finally moving up and that is good. And then we have four gigs of RAM. Now recently we saw the Galaxy S8 a China leak that it says that it's gonna have six gigs of RAM, like almost all variants that will be released in China will have six gigs of RAM. Like what is with China? I mean, Nokia devices got first release in China. We got some awesome Huawei phones that, that goes first to China and the Galaxy S8 six gigabyte variant will go first to China like China is like holy getting pretty much everything so it seems like the 4 gigabyte Galaxy S8 and the S8 Plus will be the international models but there is still a chance that we might see a 128 gigabyte uh, storage Galaxy S8 with 6 gigs of RAM there's a high chance for that uh, but this shows us that the Galaxy S8 and the S8 Plus will have 4 gigs of RAM at least with the base model then we got Samsung Pay wireless charging the charging pad required of course it's uh, sold separately and then we have Android operating system I guess it would be coming with Android 7.0 Nougat and then the earphones tuned by AKG uh, which uh, basically is a company is an audio company that is working under Samsung Samsung re recently acquired Harman so Harman owns like these companies like AKG JBL and all these companies so they all are working under Samsung so Samsung is having their earphones tuned by AKG so of course the Galaxy S8 still have 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and it's gonna be having USB type C and uh, also, they will release a complete wireless uh, earphones for the Gal earbuds for the Galaxy S8 and the S8 Plus later on. So yeah, this is the leaked specs sheet for the Galaxy S8 Plus. Let me know what you think. Of course, looking at this specs sheet, uh, I would say definitely the biggest thing here, uh, mind-blowing thing, is definitely the display that will really change the way you use your phone. And there is no home button. Obviously, that's not mentioned here, but there's no home button. Definitely design-wise, I would consider Galaxy S8 having a generational jump compared to the old Galaxy S7. So um, yeah, I have to say, rest in peace, home button. It's over now. Uh, in the future with the Galaxy S9, we're definitely going to see something more awesome. The screen will get more uh, bezel-less, you know, to provide us the maximum experience. So yeah, uh, let me know your thoughts. I'm eager to hear what you guys have to say about this. Are you excited? And uh, hopefully there will be some more awesome leaks coming very soon in the coming days. Recently, I've made like three videos about the Galaxy S8. So you want to check them out and see what more things are coming. And yeah, subscribe for daily tech content and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.